here at Alain Class Motors and it's one of the most incredible dealerships here in Dubai, as you can see right now. There are some multi, multi million dollar cars in here and they are all uncovered. There is only one car in this entire showroom that still has its cover on. It's right here. In my journey over the last two years of car vlogging, I have learned just how super, 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 super rare this car is that I have only had a glimpse of one in the last two years and when I saw that car I literally chased it around Dubai for an hour to try and get a better look at this car. Since then I've never seen it again. It is super unusual to even be able to see this car once in your lifetime even for a split second. It is even more unusual to be able to film with this car and it's almost impossible to be able to drive this car and you and I are going to experience all three of those things today. This car is so rare that there is no video on the entire internet of any car reviewer, car expert, car vlogger driving it. And that is what I'm about to do today. And it's with your help that I'm able to do these things. So a massive, massive shout out to my Supercar Blondie family. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button. And this is Peppy, you guys. Just waiting for action. <laughs> waiting for action, exactly. Usually I would just take my own photos or Nick Cars would take the photos. That's him. But we've actually called him Pepper, who is an incredible photographer. I flew in all the way from Texas for this. <laughs> actually, I wouldn't be surprised if you did do that. Did you No, actually? no, no, no. You've been on the fastest car on it. Is it called fastest car? Fastest car, Netflix, season you, one. You are a professional car supercar hypercar photographer yes that travels the world all over and gets some of the most exclusive access to photograph the craziest cars private collectors manufacturers some of the most exclusive cars ever and i've still never seen this car still never that's seen how it. insane it is that's crazy wow. you guys crazy i'm getting excited <laughs> i don't even know what it is <laughs> it's happening right here on this channel right okay we'll come back to you in a bit chill out i'll be patiently um, waiting right have fun <laughs> is everyone ready no, seriously, are you ready for this? This has literally just come in last minute. I'm about to take a flight out of Dubai tomorrow morning and we're like, Wait, this has to happen tonight, it has to happen tonight. Otherwise we're gonna be gone and the opportunity might be lost because it could be sold. This car is for sale and just to put the exclusivity into perspective, this LaFerrari here is worth $2.6 million. Then you've got the Bugatti behind it, which is worth $2 million. And then you have the 918, which is worth $1.4 million. And then you have the P1 behind that, and that's worth $1.6 million. Now, drum roll, please. This car right here is worth $12 million. How do you even put that into perspective? $12 million is a lot of money. I've got a Lamborghini, right? Lamborghini Hurricane, her name's Lucy. And I just thought, how many Lamborghini Hurricanes could you buy instead of buying this car. And it worked out to be 60 Lamborghini Hurricanes in your garage or this Lamborghini right here. That is madness. Enough talking, right? Shut up, let's see the car. Let's do it. So, fully exposed carbon, as you can see, so far. Just to give you a bit of background, if you guys don't know exactly what car this is, 
This is the Lamborghini Veneno Roadster. And in 2013, they actually unveiled the coupe version, the one with the roof, for Lamborghini's 50th year anniversary. So that happened in 2013, and they only made three of those cars for sale, and then they had another one for Lamborghini to keep. So there are only four coupe versions of the Veneno in the world. There's one in red, there's one in white, and there's one in green. And that's because that's the colors of the Italian flag. But then they said they were gonna make nine of these Roadster versions. So we're looking at one of those versions right here. But this one is the only one with fully exposed carbon. Let's get the key. This is the magical moment. <laughs> it's just crazy. Um, Bias? Yeah. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. Master Waiting fun. on standby. That is awesome. So here is the Lamborghini key to the Veneno. This could literally be a Hurricane key. This is the same key as Lucy has. Let's open her up. Did you catch that? Let me do it again. Ready? I'll lock her. And then... Never thought I'd be opening up the... Veneno. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. You know, I've gotten the privilege of driving some pretty cool cars around the world and I have to say this is probably one of, if not the coolest moment ever. And I know a lot of you are probably asking, how do you get access to these cars, right? It's been a lot of work um, building this kind of community picking up the camera, flying around the world, chasing down these incredible cars. But mostly, it's because of you guys. It's because of my Supercar Blondie family. And because of you and your support for my channel, I can get access to these cars and you and I can keep seeing these incredible cars around the world. So please hit subscribe if you haven't yet. The more of us there is, the more cool cars we'll see. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Because We've got to get all of these other cars out so we can actually take the Veneno out the back door. Is that the moment? Yeah. That no one's ever done before? Yeah, this is the moment. Imran, are you really sure? Are <laughs> you really him. sure? He's already said yes once. <laughs> just leave it at that. You don't ask twice. He's I'm almost just trying to savor the moment. I just think like there's only once in your life that you'll ever get to do something like this. So I almost don't even want to do it because I'm like, but then it's over the moment. Like it's like I've done it. So I'm kind of just walking up to the car, appreciating it. Just knowing that this is like a once in a lifetime moment for me. Um, I've never opened a Veneno door before. So this is new. <laughs> moment one down never gotten into a Veneno before, so this is moment two. Okay, so inside, it looks a lot like a, um, a Ventador, right? But it has a lot more carbon fiber. Obviously, it's just everywhere here. And also, these three latches, these you don't see in any other um, Lamborghini. So we're gonna explain what those three are. I'm stepping on carbon fiber right now. It's just everywhere, which is just insane. Okay, I think this is the moment. I think this is the moment. Is everyone ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. It's ready. Look, they're all ready too. There. Thumbs up if you're ready. All right. Are you ready to get your ears blown off? Yes. This is going to sound amazing. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't feel real. I think watching it from outside is way more real than actually being inside because you get to see the car in all its glory as it drives. I'm just about to drive the Veneno for the first time out of the showroom and down the road.
just had to drive past about $10 million worth of cars in a $12 million car. <laughs> Doing some crazy things, Pepper. A huge camera gig. Oh yeah! Ooh. Oh yeah! Wow! Mashallah. So we're gonna head out, and Dubai is speed bump haven. Basically, you cannot get anywhere without going over a million speed bumps, which is gonna be a bit of an issue because this car does not have a race. Function. Yeah. It's literally this far off the ground. See here. So this, is this is this is this much. About this much. This much. Yeah. So we just can go over an itty bitty speed bump. I'm just going to switch it into sport over here and I suppose we should hear it before we go right so <laughs> belts on guys safety first always the roadster version of this car the one we're in right now doesn't actually come with a roof at all oh. 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 it's like a million thunderstorms all at once <laughs> that's mad people all right I'm just gonna turn here It's a V12 6.5 litre engine. Look at this. Yeah. This air intake is awesome because I can see it. It's basically the only thing I see in my rear view mirror is this air intake, which is crazy. Um, it's kind of like when it shifts, it almost feels like an Aventador. It's a little bit like laggy. Guys, this is unbelievable. When do you ever get this experience? Yeah, it's great. Crazy. So there you go, there's my experience with the Veneno. When you get your hands on a Veneno, you literally do not want to put more than a couple of kilometers on the clock. That's how special it is. So that's what I did. I literally put two kilometers on the clock, which is crazy. And you go, that's nothing, but that's more than 
I would ever expect in my lifetime to do it on a Veneno. So there you go. These buttons here, or these latches that we pointed out earlier, this one is the pit lane speed limiter. So that will hold the speed as you go into the pit lane. And then this one here, this is for engine cooling. And then this one, this turns your car into the Hulk. This green latch is in your hands. What do you think it does? Comment below. This car has more horsepower than an Aventador. And a couple of the ways they did that is through the extra large air intakes here. And around the back, they also have a different exhaust. I just wanted to say, I do actually love this car. I think it has incredible presence. You cannot help but look at it. So there you go, guys. What an exclusive. Thank you very, very much for... <laughs> <laughs> Good job.